And then it feels like there's infighting. As sometimes you'll see a one yeah. side of the ball that's better than the other side. Or, or, or is the media sort of making this a little more than what it is? I haven't seen the infighting between the defense and the offense yet, Dan. I, I, I think the defense has been pretty good about not doing that. The infighting has been within the offense. And that was clear on the sideline. The CBS cameras caught it. You know, mm-hmm. Michael Carter, the running back, yelling at the running backs coach, Taylor Embry. Garrett Wilson kind of throwing his hands up in frustration as they were looking at a tablet. You know, they're, the players are frustrated, right? I, I think what, where we're at, Dan, is Jets, the Jets universe. Jets players, coaches, fans have are going through the five stages of grief. <laughs> and right now, you know, I think denial hit right that night. It was like, oh, my God, this can't happen. Then there was anger, right? Oh, Jets fans can't have nice things. Then there was the bargaining, Dan. It was, well, maybe Zach Wilson's going to be better now because he was with Rodgers. Now we've hit the pressure. And the whole place is, I think the whole place is depressed. And it's like, man, we've got 14 more games. What are we going to do? They, they thought they were going to the Super Bowl, Dan. They legitimately thought this was a Super Bowl team. And now they're one and two with the Kansas City Chiefs coming in here Sunday night. They've got the Eagles in two weeks. Like the schedule is brutal for them to to try to right the ship here. Uh, So, you know, I don't know when acceptance arrives, Dan, but I think we're a few weeks away from that. 